This lesson deals with supplemental problem 4.7. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 4 supplemental problems on page 7. Let's find the Thevenin resistance seen by the load resistor R sub L in the emitter follower example we did on page 5 of the chapter 4 notes. In electronics, we usually call the Thevenin resistance RO. To find the Thevenin resistance, we set all the independent sources equal to zero. In this case, there was a voltage source V sub S hooked up here, and I replace it by a short circuit. Our circuit has a controlled source in it, and this is not a resistor. It is a manipulation of a current controlling another current. So we have to apply a test voltage and say measure a test current. Their ratio would be the resistance seen looking in. With the short circuit that's here, I now have three resistors in parallel, 10K, 100K, and another 100K. So let's find their parallel combination. I did this again on my calculator and found that it was 8.33K. The current I test is going to equal this current plus this current plus this current. In other words, whatever enters a node is going to leave the node. It's got V test across it. So the current would be V test divided by 2K. The current in this direction is minus 200 I sub B. And then the current in this direction is a minus I sub B. I've got V test in terms of I test, but another unknown here, I sub B. Let's put these two together to get 201 I sub B. So I've got to find the current IB in terms of V test or I test. Current I sub B, if you take this as one resistor, would be this voltage divided by the 8.33K in series with the 1.26K. But this voltage here is the same as V test, but just the opposite sign. So if I take V test, change the sign of it, and divide by the sum of those two resistors, I get the value of I sub B. So let's substitute that back in over here. So if I test is equal to V test over 2K, and then a minus times a minus V test over 9.59K, so here's my value then as a plus times 201. You can pull out the V test and I have 1 over 2K, and then 201 divided by 9.59K. So the ratio then of V test divided by I test would be the reciprocal of this equation. Now this looks like our formula for parallel resistances. If you think of this as a one over, in other words, this would be one over 9.59K divided by 201. You can see here what's happening with the controlled source. It's making this resistance look like it's 201 times smaller. This is one of the properties of controlled sources. They can change resistant levels in a circuit. And we'll use this idea in a lot of electronics courses to change just that, the resistance level, and we're going to use this to try to maximize power transfer. So what I've got now is 2K, not in parallel with 9.59K, but, but that divided by 201, so that's 47.7 ohms. And that's just about the same value, since this is so much bigger than this. But the final parallel combination is 46.6. And this is supplemental problem 4.7.